Welcome to another edition of Chaplain John with Chaplain John Sayers, featuring special reports and interviews with people doing kingdom ministry in Tulare County and beyond. And now, here's Chaplain John. Hey, I am back at the Cafe 210, and this is going to be, I'm going to introduce this darn good looking guy in a minute. Hang on a minute. But we're doing a... Uh, I'm going to be doing this on my YouTube and also on my podcast. Um, now, if you want to get to my podcast, please go to chaplainchat.podomatic.com. That's chaplainchat.podomatic, spelled P-O-D-O-M-A-T-I-C.com. Hey, Roger, this is great because we where, where are we sitting right now, Roger? We are sitting at 210 West Center Street, which is the Cafe 210. Oh, I'm glad you said West. I've been saying North, but anyway, they'll find it. It's West Center Street. It is West. And I got to tell you what a thrill is because uh, we the 210 has been closed for a while during COVID. How, how long has it been closed? Well, for? since uh, March of 2018. And we just opened back up in November. That's so exciting. And kind of a whole new management, because, Roger, you are the manager dude. Is that what they call you? What, yeah. What do they I, call I, you? Well, I'm the head dishwasher, basically. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm the general manager. Okay. And um, got brought on to um, bring in a whole new 210. Uh, and, and I'm sensing that right now. Yeah. And I know your daughter is your... Assistant, assistant manager. Her, yes. I can't remember her name. Mary Ellen. And we you, call her Ellie. Uh, Ellie. It mm -hmm. should be, and then you've got some really, and your son is also working here now. No, you? actually, Josh, uh, he, he had to go back to his regular position. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, he helped me big time in here. Getting but all this. the equipment and all that stuff, it was a big overdue. Yeah, it was It was a lot of stuff. This is such a great place. And um, actually, and then there's two workers, Erica and, oh, I forgot the other gal's name. Ja Jasmine today. Jasmine, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. And so when you come in, and, and, and I'll tell you one of the things that's changed here, Roger, we should have brought a menu out in front of us. There's a whole new menu. When you come, you can just not only get great coffee and all that stuff, but tell me about the menu. Well, uh, you know, the pastor and then the uh, session wanted, uh, of the church, wanted to bring 210 back in a big way. And so that's what they did. Uh, they brought me on board, which I have a 30-year history in the industry, working for Ryan's Place Restaurant and Black Bear Diner. Oh my gosh, and I didn't know that until right now. Yeah. Okay, wow. Yeah, 25-year wow. uh, history there. And then I worked for Mike at Pagazzi's for a few years and a Corner Bakery Cafe um, down on Mooney Boulevard for oh my. a few years. So, so you know the area, too. I was uh, born here in Visalia. I'm a native. So, you know, this is my town, uh, hometown, if you will. And I take a lot of pride in it. And I've served a lot of good food over the years. Learned from the best. And... Um, you know, I, I recently, when I was asked to come on board with it, I, it was exciting because, um, you know, I, I had to develop a menu because we don't have a kitchen upstairs. We, it's downstairs. So in order for us to offer some great products, uh, we had to be able to, um, you know, come up with some new ideas. So the paninis I, I learned from Corner Bakery. Randy Ivey, uh, he's the uh, managing partner there, and me and him go back a long ways. He worked for me back in the Ryans and Black Bear days. So, yeah, it's just, a, you know, you get a lot of friends over the years, and, and I've been blessed to meet a lot of good ones. When I'm, oh, no, go ahead. No. That, okay, what I'm really excited like, about this place, by the way, we want to get this out. We want to spread this around. So we, I had this passion i wanted to get the 210 known more and more and everybody does and we're going to encourage mm -hmm. people to do that because nothing wrong with starbucks but my gosh come here get a cup of coffee here this people come here and you did you come here before you like when it was open did you ever come no here I, I actually and i'll tell you why um i a man like me works 60 hours a week. Well, there you go. Which and you have to do it? I never had any time to do What are you much. noticing about why people come here now? You know, the love of the Lord. Um, I find that uh, God's presence here, God brought me here. You know, um, I really was ready to retire after <laughs> 15 years in the hair industry and then, you know, 30 years doing this. I, I was ready to retire. And um, 
but God brought me. And, wow. uh, you know, it's funny because I, I saw, I was just kind of going through the uh, Indeed, and I noticed that they uh, was looking for someone just around. I thought, you know what, that might be a good change for me. Oh, wow. And I would have never thought it. Certainly, uh, it, it's a much smaller situation, but God brought me here. Yeah, Roger, good change for you and a good change for the Q10. I, one of the things that we do exciting here is, uh, I know we haven't had it for a lot, I don't think it's this Saturday, but you, the other excitement thing that happens uh, here at Saturday is Cup of Jazz. Now, I have to tell you, uh, yeah. some of us have been coming to that. It's every Saturday from 10 to noon, mm -hmm. and we get a good group here. We've got a jazz band here, and... You can listen to jazz music. Some people get up and sing. It's so rich. Some get up and dance. And dance. Oh, Darn right. Dancing. Dancing. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I, I have to tell you, I, I kept hearing about this jazz. Oh, we want jazz back. We want jazz. And I was like, what is this jazz? <laughs> and the Saturday we, that we did it was uh, Saturday the 11th was our first one. Yes. And oh, my goodness gracious. Um those gentlemen and ladies can play. Oh, they can. We've got professional wow. good, and they do it. Uh, most of them come just because of the joy of doing it. And and the people that came. See, I've got another new name for myself. I couldn't make it last. I think it was, oh, no, you didn't have it last Saturday. But but, um, but when I'm here, i got a new name. I'm going to be the Cup of Jazz Greeter. Okay. When you had it, Roger, when the first time came back, everybody, we missed it. We're looking at, as they're coming through the doors, we're hugging each other. I, back, I saw that. We're I, back I at, saw the love. This is yeah. our family. And not only, so Cup of Jazz is great to come to. And I bet they could call you if they have special ministries they want to do. And how do we rent this and all that stuff. I bet this they is call a, you. This is quite, it's just not a, you know, coffee shop, cafe. It's the not cafe. that. It's a, it's a place that people can come. And they can certainly, um, if they want to get some ministry, they can get that. There's a personal prayer room here. Yes, yes. They have an assembly room that is just phenomenal. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. And that's where they have one of their church services. And um, I don't know what else to say other oh, than well, until you come here, you really don't yeah. get it. And so just come, just get a cup of coffee and experience that. And if you want to know more, they can contact you. In fact... Do you know your phone number by heart? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm impressed. What's the it's phone 739 number? It's 739-9010. Okay, say it again. 739-9010. Fantastic. And also, our hours here are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 2 o'clock. Uh, we hope to be able to extend those hours in the new year. We hope to be blessed that we can stay open till 4 o'clock. Uh, to give people time to come in here more. Oh, but, you know, because of the state and their minimum wage requirements, you know, we have to have people coming in in order to pay for it. Oh, I, oh exactly. Um, Which is why we really do want to get to... By, by the way, this morning, when I got here earlier this morning, there was a lady who had a little breakfast here. She works at the library. They yeah. hadn't opened up yet. Yep. So she likes to have a little alone time. And, I saw yeah. her doing her knitting, too. Yeah. That, I, There's a knitting group that meets here. It, <laughs> every Monday. Um, it, it, it's, like I said, it's a different environment. It's not your crazy environment, hustle, bustle. No. Get out no. of my way, I'm in a hurry. You yeah. come here, you can relax. There's smooth, usually very soft music which playing Which in the background, here. which we're hearing yeah. right now. Yeah. There's none of this, you know, screaming and, and all this stuff inside. It's a very peaceful place, and a lot of people come here just to be able to enjoy their book. I have students from COS that comes in and does a lot of. And their, also enjoy this that, book that's too. Right, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. You bet. And also, they uh, they come in here to spend time. Um, they love to come in here and study because uh, they do. the Wi-Fi is excellent. We just yeah. upgraded the Wi-Fi. Got finished last night, so the Wi-Fi is wonderful. Oh, Lord. And, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, they well, called me late last night when they finished it and said, you're up. And first thing this morning, I came in and tried it. And, boy, it's fast, very fast. Roger, you said you only had 16 minutes. We better wrap this up. I do. You as a matter of fact, I got to go. Okay. Hey, Roger, I want to thank you for uh, 
being on this. And I'll let you go, and I'm going to sign off with the folks here. You but got it. God, you bless so you. God bless you. God bless you, Roger. Appreciate you doing that. Okay. Hey, we are going to uh, put this on my YouTube. We're going to, I hope when you get it, send it to people because we really want to make Cafe 210 known to everybody. A great place to engage. In fact, oh, I don't know, probably in about 10 minutes, I got a couple of people that called me up and said, hey, can they meet with you? Chaplain, we'd like to meet with you. And I go, well, there's tons of place to do it. And when they come here, I'm going to get my regular. You know what my regular is? Okay, I'll tell you. They know it's a glass of milk and chocolate chip cookies. They do some great cookies here. All right, well, get the word out. I'm so glad we got to meet with Roger and uh, come to the 210. God is good.